camp last night. Um, quite a sheltered spot, um, but as you can hear, quite a lot of noise in the sea. So I didn't actually sleep that well, but um, as a wild camping spot, it was a it was a good spot. It's um, day 15 in the morning. Um, didn't sleep particularly well last night. I found a lovely spot to wild camp, um, but the noise of the waves and the, some bird flying over kept me awake most of the night. Um, and it rained about well, between half five and half six this morning. And of course, uh, that makes all the vegetation a bit damp. So what you really don't want is to encounter a path like this. I'm gonna get bloody soaked. Thankfully there is a bit of wind that might have dried some of this stuff off, but yes, not what I wanted to see. much talking to camera today actually it's been quite windy I don't know if you can even hear this um, I'm about to turn this headland and go to Port Quinn but I just thought I'd show you the view looking back towards Port Isaac you can't actually see Port Isaac but um, um, there's the sort of views over that way and then as we pan around Sailing their dinghy. And then, as I say, we're about to go around this headland and tuck around the corner is Port Quinn.
morning, it's um, day 16. Out of breath already, just done my first climb of the day. Uh, had a good night's sleep last night in a campsite on the uh, outskirts of Palsy. I've now just got to do this headland, whose name I've forgotten already. Um, and I'll head back into Palsy and hopefully get some breakfast. Um, but stunning views already today. Entire head, whatever you want to call headland now, looking down towards Polzeath. The beach there, and then around the headland, and you can't quite see is um, rock, and then we'll be getting the ferry across the estuary over to Padstow, which is um, hidden behind the hill over there. And then eventually we'll walk around some of this headland over in the direction of that village over there, whose name I forget. And then maybe camp, we'll stay there tonight. Just had a fat boy's cooked breakfast in Palsy. Uh, now walking round um, pretty much the River Camel estuary as such, to, um, to rock. Nice looking out to sea. Over there now, in the middle of the um, estuary, is the Doom Bar, a sort of sand bar. Um, obviously it's high tide now, so you can't really see it, but that's what the famous beer is named after. And then, carrying on down, and where the sand is in the distance, um, you can't see the place, but it's rock, and we'll be getting the ferry then across into Padso. step a point now which is um, looking out across back towards Polsey where I was this morning um, I couldn't stand the bike being in Padstow it was like Oxford Street on a Saturday afternoon absolutely heaving with people you couldn't step two inches without banging into somebody so I couldn't wait to get out of the place so I had a quick point in the pub in the um, London Inn or wherever it was just because it was recommended by a friend and then um, I shot out of the place didn't even bother stopping buying anything to eat or anything um, but yeah lovely views from up here see if I can spin the camera around I made a friend. Hello. Oh, you found my, one of my porch scratchings, have you? Ah. Yeah, as I was saying before the dog came. Um, yeah, so I'm, I've stopped here because I've, I've actually booked a hotel room in um, Travine, which is only about an hour and a half, maybe two hours walk away. So, uh, and it's only what, 10 to 2 now, so I'm just going to rest here for a while. 
waste a bit of time away from the crowds. Um, Day 17, I'm just leaving, um, where are we, Travon, um, the Well Park Hotel I stayed in last night. <laughs> it's very nice, very friendly people, food was fine, whatever, but um, also a little bit um, of a tip as well. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a delayed start this morning because it's what now. Um, yeah, it's 20 past nine um, because I got up in time for when I'd ordered breakfast at eight o'clock and it was like the Marie Celeste, nobody to be seen. Eventually somebody appeared around about half past eight. So I've wolfed a bit of breakfast down and now heading out onto the path. But it's a gorgeous day. I'll just show you the view. There's the sea over there. There's the hotel I just stayed in. Um, so very friendly stuff. Big barn of a place, but it needs a little bit of money spending on it, if I'm honest with you. But yeah, um, so not sure what the plan is today. Probably certainly going to walk as far as Porthcothan that's how you say it and then um, maybe on to Trenance is it beyond that depends how we feel as I say lovely day lovely sunny 
hardly a cloud, a bit of high cloud. Um, so it should be a good day. Water's lovely and calm first thing in the morning. This is what I call coast path walking. <coughs> it's um, not completely level, but it's mostly on fairly level cliff tops. You've got some lovely views. Um, so certainly for a start of the morning, this is absolutely perfect. I think the next certainly day or so, um, it should be all pretty much similar to this. I think it's one or two steep hills I've got to climb, but nothing too massively strenuous. So, so this is Harlin Bay. We just walked around. Absolutely stunning. Obviously, because we're looking into the sun, probably doesn't do it quite the justice. It would do perhaps in the evening. Um, I'm now going to carry on round this headland up there that's Mother Anthony's Bay where we just walked around and then down here in the foreground you can't really see much so I'll put a picture up on screen from the other side but it's um, lifeboat station very posh fancy looking thing it's obviously quite a new thing I would imagine and then just scanning around up over there to Travaux's head which is sort of the headland we just got to walk around and then we'll be heading back down over in that general direction um, towards well, sort of eventually towards Porth Cothel there's a few villages in between there's names I can't remember off the top of my head
I was starting to flag a little bit then, but I've just had my first cream tea of the uh, walk. So uh, I've got a full belly, two mugs of tea, and a bit more energy to make it now down into Trenant or Trenance or wherever it's pronounced. Um, day 18 lovely sunny morning yet again on the coast path um, I've just left the campsite up at Trevarian um, <laughs> even though officially I was allowed to be there and I had actually paid to be there I felt like I was wild camping because I was on a spot there normally you wouldn't expect anybody to be camping so people came up and woke me up and what you're doing here and all this sort of stuff so uh, it was easy to pack up and get gone first thing this morning. So we're now back onto the path. Um, and uh, going to head first of all to Newquay, do a bit of admin there, and then um, get as far away from the place as possible. Um, obviously, it depends. Um, when I get a bit closer as to what the state of the tide is, as to which way I go, because obviously I've got to cross the Gannel. So um, I'll have to wait and see on that one. Not done much filming this morning because um, uh, been in some of the less sleep um, new key. Uh, so um, I am not bother getting this stuff out in case it got mugged or whatever. Uh, yeah, I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do today because I forgot. Of course, it's bloody bank holiday, in it? So post office is shut. Never mind. Um, so I'm sat in this lovely little park and uh, and have a cup of coffee. And then um, because um, the tide is still high, um, this is the way I've come this way so I can... Uh, not have to well, use a bridge to cross the Gannel rather than having to um, try and wade through water. Um, it would be too deep. So, um, yeah, gonna have a nice cup of coffee and then um, hopefully I'll show you something later. Come this way because um, um, Yeah, as you can see, it's not exactly mega deep, but that would be far too deep to wade through, um, which is what you have to do. A bit further up, up the river towards the estuary, um, so I've come this way. Uh, so it's a bit more of a detour, but um, in order to do this detour, I've missed a bit out of the path around Fistral Beach, so uh, I think it evens itself out. Oh, it's nice to be in the shade for a minute. Um, that was quite some detour. So I just get quite some detour. I just did, and I got a horrible feeling. It was totally unnecessary, but it was through in parts, <laughs> head high, tall grasses, sort of covered in pollen, um, and uh, hopefully we'll get a view in a minute of the estuary. But I think it's virtually bone dry. <laughs> So uh, I probably could have come across the uh, 
boardwalk. But never mind. You live and learn. Alright, so I can get this camera to work as I suspected. There's the boardwalk and uh, it would have been perfectly acceptable to walk across. Uh, anyway, you live and learn. Um, so it's onwards around the estuary now. Not long after this photo was taken, unfortunately I suffered a complete equipment failure. Not only um, did my um, main camera stop working, but the uh, battery ran out in my phone as well. Um, so first of all, I got hopelessly lost around the backs of Hollywell, um, which took me ages because I thought I was being clever. And um, anyway, so it took me ages to get back on the path. And then I had to um, negotiate Penhell Point and then the vast um, long stretch of Perrinporth Sands before I eventually arrived in Perrinporth, uh, where I found a campsite on the edge of the town. I booked into the uh, campsite in Perrinporth for a couple of nights, so day 19 turned into a rest day, um, and it was rather overcast and dull after the lovely sunny day we'd had the day before. Uh, so I had a quick wander around, but there wasn't much to see, so inevitably I ended up back in the pub. The sun eventually came out late evening, so I got this nice shot of an old chimney stack. Morning, it's uh, day 20. I'm here on the edge of Perrinporth Beach, just about to get back onto the coast path. Um, it's 20 to 8 in the morning. I had a day off here in the town yesterday. Um, ready to get back walking now. I'll just show you the beach before I set off. Obviously dead quiet right now. Trap was over there, busy cleaning up the sand. When I first arrived here on um, Friday afternoon, you, you literally couldn't get to here without stepping over bodies. It was that packed. But obviously the weather's changed slightly. It's overcast. We had a bit of rain yesterday, but um, it's dry at the moment. I don't know if it's going to brighten up at all today, but I don't mind a bit of cloud for a while. Anyway. See if we can find the path and let's get going. A few chuff. You can just tell by the distinctive sort of chiff chaffy sounds. But Fortunately, they were a bit closer, but they got a bit scared. These um, got a few of these around here. These mine caps. Um, There's a sort of strange landscape. You're walking through a lot of old mine workings. Um, not that you can see a great deal, I'm, I'm not even sure what it was, whether it was um, tin or, or what they were ironing, ironing? <laughs> mining for around here, but um, anyway, just got shouted at by a chuff, didn't get the camera out in time, but got up quite close to it, so I'm quite chuffed with that. <laughs> Some early morning swimmers out to sea.
starting to see a bit more of the classic coastal or Cornish scenery with the tin mines. Um, not sure which one this is, or but um, yeah, classic bit of Cornish scenery. And I believe down there, there's your pub. Ah, I just had a nice big roast dinner down at the pub in Porth Town. Um, <laughs> first chance to get any proper vegetables in the three weeks now that I've been on this path. Because um, you have a meal of an evening. You so-called veggies, usually just some peas or some nonsense. So at least with this you've got a choice of about four or five different veg. So I, uh, having missed, thought about it the last couple of Sundays, I actually remembered to do it this Sunday. And uh, I've just walked up a nice steep hill after that, but uh, I've given it a while for my dinner to go down. So we're not too bad. Not heart attack material just yet. Hotel in um, Portreath. What's that? Can I say? Well, so what? Anyway, I'm here. Um, yeah, it was a nice walk today. Um, not too taxing. There was a couple of steep sided valleys, but I must be getting fair because um, I didn't find them too difficult to do. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to try and get to St. Ives. Um, so I may be overextending myself and and if I am I might cheat towards the end and, and, and I'll get to St Ives and then might have to come back and re redo bits because um I might cheat and use the railway line if it's um if time's pushing on etc. So um yeah that's the plan for tomorrow. So um but yeah today was a good day.
struggling a bit. Uh, yesterday's exertions over the rocks and equally more so today are really starting to take their toll on my Achilles.